Start to feel like shit, hand to the words. I wouldn't even make a dial if you put me on the climb. Let me be there for a while. When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile. Probably blame me for the drugs I was on before you found me. Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Matt B, aka Piff. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for checking out another video. <sighs> Please hit that subscribe button. <clears throat> Share this video. <sighs> Share this video, man. This is this story right here, man. Is 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 just like. It's no different than any other story that I've been making in the past couple weeks or couple months. But this one right here kind of made me more mad than a lot of the other things that I've seen. Because it's just like, even, even when ignorance is prevented it, presented right in front of us we still choose to be ignorant after the fact we spent all this time talking about defund the police white supremacy all this other stuff that has nothing to do with us making progress in our own communities Meanwhile, making martyrs of people who make who who make or just put up the the more percentages of the crime that goes on in our community and in all these different cities and states around America. It's just a certain few. It, it's just a, it, you would think that it's a crazy load of criminals in the black community and it's not you got a small portion of black people that make up more than half of the crime that goes on and then you have a bigger percentage of people who still you know still want to live by some type of cold ethics to the street but I'm going to play these videos, man, of this, of this young lady. I'm pretty sure y'all already know um, or probably seen the video. But I'm going to let both of them slide and I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. Ain't that fucking Damn. 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 Like, we looking out the window, you real loud. I'm going to press the unlock button. Press the unlock button. Press the unlock button. Press the unlock button. Hey, 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 oh, oh shit, they oh, killed the baby. baby. Look. Oh shit. Oh, oh, baby, baby, shorty. Baby. Oh shit, this is fucked up on oh, B. Oh shit. They just killed the baby, shorty. And we start with breaking news. A seven-year-old girl is dead after a shooting in the Holman Square neighborhood on Chicago's west side. CBS 2's Stephen Graves joins us live from Stroger Hospital where her family spoke. Stephen. Jim, this little girl's family tells me her name is Jaslyn Adams. She and her father were taken here to Stroger, but her father is expected to survive. Loved ones for both of them trying to process what played out in a McDonald's drive-through this afternoon. Really emotional right now for my family. 
tearful, pain-filled words from Jaslyn Adams' aunt as she remembers the seven-year-old as funny and joyful. She just the sweet out going real talkative, real lovable. Family spoke from right outside Stroger Hospital where the girl died. A Chicago police officer rushing her here from about two miles away inside this bullet ridden car. It was sitting in a McDonald's drive through at Roosevelt and Kedzie. At least 30 shell casings surrounded the vehicle. The tinted windows on the side were shot out bullet holes in the frame and back window as well. Investigators say Jaslyn was hit multiple times around 415 Sunday afternoon. Family says her father, Jonte Adams, was also hit. Chicago police saying the 29 year old man was shot in the upper body. He should survive. Jaslyn's grandmother tells CBS2 Jonte called her as soon as the shooting happened, saying, quote, they shot my baby. Chicago police now looking into who those people are. It's unclear if this was targeted, but officers have not said the public is at risk. But for now, family devastated that their innocent girl is gone, someone who simply loved TikTok videos and laughing. Y'all, please put the guns down. Our kids want to play. My kids can't even go out the door because of this gun violence. Y'all, please put the guns down. And Mayor Lori Lightfoot just spoke out on Twitter saying that she is heartbroken and angered by this, calling it an unthinkable act of violence and part of the epidemic of gun violence in the city. Right now, Chicago police still trying to track down those shooters or this shooter in this case. Reporting live at Stroger Hospital, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Jim. Steve. I just need y'all to, I just need y'all to do me a favor, man. And Share this video, man. Share this video. I, I I hope tomorrow when I when I wake up, man, I see this plastered all over a whole bunch of YouTubers' pages, man. And not just the, the same old, same old, man. I really hope that this right here wake a lot of people up, man, that's out here talking about things that has no has no leverage or hold on what's going on our, on our in our communities man they can blame all these all these situations on covid they can blame it on there's nothing for the kids to do they can blame it on um whatever excuse no jobs or yada yada man but at the end of the day man one thing that i want people to understand is this is the type of stuff that we vote for The people, are, like our people is being so used and, and manipul manipulated to the point where they don't even understand that the things that are really holding us back are ourselves. I'm so tired of the, the whole black, the whole black culture with this, this, like I said, this no stitching situation. And and the thing is now, now that, that they don't want to lift these masks and it's these it's still these idiotic white people and these controlling these mind control black people don't even understand that a lot of this this stuff is going on because a lot of these people can wear masks and covering their face up so of course of course it's going to be hard for you to figure out who the person is if they got half of their face covered them all you can see is their eyes All these stores being robbed, all these people getting attacked out in the open. Man, I see somebody walking down the street. I don't care what color it is, white, black, Mexican. You got your mask on walking down the street. I'm across the street, bruh. If you a female, I'm crossing the street. What are you outside with your mask on for? And listen, man, in these cities, man, somebody bound to know who did this to this to this to this young this this baby man and when they they say stuff like i said man when they say stuff like oh they didn't know that the child was in a car it don't matter if the child was in the car or not man they literally opened fire on someone in, inside of a mcdonald's parking lot and if it's like any mcdonald's then i know i'm pretty sure that it wasn't the only you know what I'm saying? Unless it was some late night, three or four o'clock in the morning, maybe one or two people in line. But I'm pretty sure anytime during the daytime, there's multiple people there. 
this should make anybody who was there want to come forth with information or give the best give any type of anything any blemishes on the car any blemishes or any type of clothes that these people had on whatever guns what whatever these people seen man they should have been and, and then on top of that for one i i'm still i'm so tired of seeing these people with their cell phones man and not helping george floyd situation would have never happened if somebody would have just took one for the team and peace peace the shoving dude up not saying that i'm saying attack cops and everything else but there's on many cases where people are attacking cops for for less than that stop talking about defunding the police the police need to any the police officer that drove that baby to the hospital man any of those people that attempted to save that man and and that baby needs a raise they need a, a medal of honor they need all that stuff whatever these people need they need go find me they need to be donated to man because at the end of the day man you see all these niggas standing around just looking and talking that's all you seen but nobody is saving nobody is helping and that's what makes me mad the most about our people some street code, some street, some ethnic, ethnic of the streets. Man, I'm 31 years old, man. And I and and I, I'm sad that I, I even wasted years even having that mentality that we had to live or abide by some rules that the last nigga that made. And excuse my French for anybody who's checking out my videos and know I don't even get into this this type of you know what I'm saying? Use these type of words on my videos, man. But you have people have to understand, man, that every day people call me. I'm not black. You a coon. You a sellout. You a you a you a bootlicker. You a you a whatever. To Uncle Tom. You a white supremacist lover. You a Trump lover. Them white folks don't care nothing about you. You just want to be white. You are American, so you can't be black. You'll never see me on the news gunning down or putting six shots in a in a in a seven year old little girl. So if I'm a coon and all that stuff, then what do you call these people, man? Real niggas? I call them cowards, man. A lot of these liberals, man, I keep trying to tell y'all, man, a lot of these liberals, man, they'll justify any of this stuff. If a police officer would have pulled these guys over and gunned down any of these guys, they would have been, it would have been another riot protest or somebody talking about transparency or some type of police reform or we need a guilty verdict or we would have seen Ben Crump pull up somewhere. These goddamn black liberals is some idiots, man. You keep telling people that they don't need guns and woo de woo, but at the end of the day, the main the main percentage of the nation who are putting up or causing more homicides than anybody else walking the earth is the ones with the gun. But we're the ones that can't walk around and protect ourselves. I mean, I can. I'm in Vegas. It's open carry out here, baby. But I advise you, if you wanted to come to Vegas, man, come on out here, man. If you if you feel like that this is the best opportunity for your life and your children's life. We do have bad areas out here as well. But at the end of the day, you're at least able to gun one of these savages down and go home and, and eat you a meal with your family. A lot of these states, man, is it got these people mind control so bad, man. And they don't even understand, man. It don't. These gangs is running. These gangs are running the politician. It is what it is, man. Share this video, like man. Please share this video. Like this video. Comment down below, man. We're on the road to you know 700, man. Sorry if I had to rant a little, man. Shout out to my new subscribers and my subscribers who've been there since day one, man. I promise you. 
you know, this ain't gonna be the only video where I snap like this, man. Cause I got another video where, like I said, they keep talking about defunding the police or all police don't need guns. And these are the specific situations why police need guns and citizens need guns. And Mayor Lightfoot need to step the f down. I love y'all, man. See y'all in the next one. Peace. Started feel like shit, hand to the worst I wouldn't even make a dime if you put me on the climb Let me be there for a while when I look into your eyes I don't see the same smile, probably blame me for the drugs I was on them before you found me Huh? Seem like everybody judged me, so I ain't